What's going on guys? This is Joe. Uh, what we usually do on this channel is once a set, we have prize pack openings. I go out, play Paper Magic, earn prize packs, and then I open them for all of you. We didn't really do that for Ixalan, so we have quite a backup. If you follow us on Twitter, you may have seen that picture that I put up. There's plenty of stuff for me to open. So over the next couple of weeks, I might dis uh, intersperse some other sealed product in there, but we're going to do some prize pack openings. You can see the order in which I'm planning on opening them, obviously saving the best for last. We've had some good luck with loose Iconic Masters packs, but um, I'm going to move these off to the side and I'm just going to get started. Let us get into Ixalan and see what we get out of here. There's some good stuff in Ixalan, so let's find out what we have in store. Obviously, hopefully I'd like to open some valuable stuff, but anything that's cool, really. We have a Pterodon Knight, a Blight Keeper, Tillanali's Knight, a Spike-Tailed Ceratops, a Pirate's Prize, Costly Plunder, Headwater Sentries, Hierophant's Chalice, a Territorial Hammer Skull, I love this guy, a Dire Fleet Interloper, Navigator's Ruin is the first uncommon, Lurking Chupacabra is the second. I don't know that you guys can quite tell, but that is a, a very light printing of this card. And a Bright Reprisal is our third uncommon. And our first rare or mythic of these prize packs is a Takatli Honor Guard. Not super impressive or interesting, but there it is. Behind the Takatli Honor Guard, just a mountain and a vampire token. We have another Ixalan pack. We have three of these total. Okay, here we go, and we get a Legion's Judgment, Skullduggery, Ixali's Keeper, Shore Keeper, Pounce, Spell Pierce, Ritual of Rejuvenation, Wind Strider, Fire Cannon Blast, Spreading Rot, a Verdant Rebirth, Rallying Roar, and Fiery Cannonade are our three uncommons. So far, I don't think, out of those two packs, that we had a single duplicate, which is kind of interesting. And our rare or mythic is a Deep Root Champion. Pretty sweet. I love the art a lot on this card. It's a pretty sweet card for Merfolk as well, but I like the, the art too. Behind Deep Root Champion, a Mountain, and a Treasure Token. One last Ixalan pack, I think out of the third pack, we'll probably have some duplicates, commons or uncommons. And I may also be wrong, I'm just, you know, going off of my own memory from a couple minutes ago. But we'll see. Yeah, because look, there's, there's our first duplicate right on top. Here's a Legion's Judgment. Skittering Heartstopper. Fathom Fleet Firebrand. Skyblade of the Legion. Commune with Dinosaurs. Sailor of Means. Hijack. Contract Killing. Blinding Fog. Paladin of the Bloodstained. Sheltering Light is the first uncommon. Navigator's Ruin is the second. Here's another duplicate. And a Raging Sword Tooth is the third for, I think, our first gold uncommon out of these three packs. Our rare or mythic in this last Ixalan pack is a Revel in Riches. So uh, trying to win with some treasure. Behind Revel in Riches, a Swamp and a treasure token. So we're out of Ixalan, but not fully out of Ixalan because we move on to Rivals of Ixalan. We have one of these, then we move on to some more unique stuff. Oh, okay. That was interesting. All right. <clears throat> so oddly enough, we start with a duplicate from Ixalan because we opened one of these in our third pack, I believe. Sailor of Means, Sun Collared Raptor, Moment of Triumph, Dusk Legion Zealot, a Hardy Veteran, Dinosaur Hunter, Mutiny, Gleaming Barrier, Cleansing Ray, Legion Lieutenant for our first uncommon and another gold uncommon, a Golden Demise, speaking of gold and uncommons, uh, and a Crested Herd Caller. And the rare or mythic out of Rivals is... Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, so our rare or mythic is a flip card, but we also get a foil mythic in Zakama Primal Calamity out of a prize pack. That's amazing. I, I Unfortunately, I don't keep track of what event I was at that I earned these, but I'm pretty sure it was a pre-release of some kind. So that's really sweet. A foil mythic Zakama. That's insane. We still haven't gotten our actual rare or mythic out of this pack either. 
it is a flip card of some kind, and it is a Profane Procession, which is also a pretty sweet card. It's not as good as Foil Zakama, but man. Uh, and Profane Procession flips into the Tomb of the Dusk Rose, which is also some gorgeous art. I love the art on this card quite a bit. That's an, That was a sweet pack. Holy crap. I don't usually expect a ton out of prize packs, which is why sometimes I get lucky. Um, and like I said, we, we have been getting lucky with Iconic Masters. Maybe that's about to change and we'll start getting lucky with uh, Rivals of Ixalan. That was a sweet pack. All right, so as you saw, we are moving on to Unstable now. And in Unstable, we have a def Defective Detective, Eager Beaver, Old Guard, Big Boa Constrictor for a host creature, It That Gets Left Hanging for some high fives, Chipper Chopper, Mad Science Fair Project, Secret Base, this one for um, the Legion, the League of Dastardly Doom. A Lobe Lobber, so this guy has a gun that shoots brains at people. A First Pick, and a Ninja for an Augment creature are our three uncommons. The Rare or Mythic is a Summon the Pack. It's a Mythic. That is fantastic. I actually don't think I had this card yet. This is the card that if you drafted it, you would get to add a sealed booster pack or open a sealed booster pack and put all the creatures that were in that pack onto the battlefield. Uh, I know some people who had come to unstable events with sealed packs with them so that they wouldn't have to necessarily buy them from the store. Plus, they could kind of be aware of what kind of good creatures they wanted. But otherwise, it's just fun, right? You just open a pack and start throwing creatures down on the table. It could be a good time. But anyway, here's a mythic. That's awesome. Behind some in the pack, we have a forest. Our contraptions are Treadmill and Sap Sucker. And we have a foil token in the Fairy Spy that we get from one of the contraptions. Fairy Airy, to be more specific. That's a really... I love the foiling pattern on these tokens. It looks so good. All right. <clears throat> That's it for Unstable. And we move on to our last pack. It's Iconic Masters. We're getting a foil out of this one too, because that's how Iconic or Masters sets work. Let's see if it's, if we get anything good out of here, because we really might. We have a Diminish, a Dragon Egg, an Emerge Unscathed, Tormenting Voice, Dusk Dale Worm, Dead Reveler, Ivy Elemental, I like that guy, Radiant Fountain, Battle Rattle Shaman, Aerial Predation, Sanguine Bond is the first uncommon, Rakdos Carnarium is the second, and a Mahatmi Jin is the third. The rare or mythic in the pack is a Malfagor. It is a rare. I believe I may have gotten this in foil out of one of my boxes, which was not a good time necessarily, but whatever. Here it is. I actually like the art on this guy. It looks really sweet. The foil behind our rare is a foil common in Netcaster Spider. Not bad. I actually like the foiling pattern a lot. The background looks really sweet. So that's cool. And our token is a dragon token. So guys, as you might figure out, we have a couple of things to talk about that we opened today that were pretty sweet. Two of them were from one set, one was from another, but we have Profane Procession, which I just, I like this card a lot. I think it's um, somewhat valuable and it's a sweet flip card. But we also got from Unstable, we got a Summon the Pack Mythic, which is really nice. I'm very happy to have opened that because uh, like I said, I don't think I had one personally. And I think the best thing unquestioningly that we opened today, I might be wrong value-wise, but I don't think I'm wrong uh, rarity-wise, <laughs> is this foil mythic Zakama Primal Calamity. I'm trying to catch the light for you guys so you can see that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We've got a lot, like I said, check us out on Twitter. Our link is in the description. Uh, you will see that we have a lot more of these to go. 
Hopefully we can only go up from here. That was a real nice start. Uh, setting the bar a little high. But anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Our logo will be up on the screen. You can click that. It'll help us out a lot. You can subscribe, find out when all of our videos come out. There'll be some videos there as well. You can click those if you're interested. This has been Geek For All. I've been Joe. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.